part two of pros and cons of a milking machine versus hand milking uh, what's best for you so uh, we've got it out to the stanchion we've got everything ready we're fixing to get Elsa over uh, again you know I've got my plug over here you see it just runs I got a wire goes right there so again we're gonna plug it right in get it set it's close enough to reach again you got to go with this cart because again if you had to carry this or roll it across there just, there's no way so uh, we've got it here ready so we're gonna go ahead and get started We've got it on. It usually takes about three to four minutes. You can see the milk is flowing out of each one. You can see it flowing right there. Main thing you want to watch is your pressure. You want to be at that four, uh, four versus any higher in the green. Your pressure is based on this little knob right here. So, that's how it adjusts. So if, you, if it starts sucking her too hard, you can adjust it. Uh, if it's not doing enough, you can add a little bit more pressure. As you see, the front two quarters are done. The back two, which he's always bigger than the back two, has more milk, are still going. So it's taking the suction off here and placed it back here. You see, it doesn't bother her. She's just eating. All right, just got done. I turned my pressure gauge off, turned it off. The last thing you want to do is pull on her. We let it just naturally come off. You'll see them as it loses pressure. That easy. All right, so hang it up because we got to clean it when we get back in. So let's just talk real quick. Let's get all the milk out of the lines. You only have one set of lines that actually are taking in the milk. The other is for the vacuum, basically. One good thing about this pump, pro to this pump, pro to a lot of pumps, is that um, you they're all in one. They're made simply to do just what I'm doing. It's all together. You don't have to piece it together. And then it's made to clean up easy. Basically, you put uh, you know your claw tips now in, in, in a solution. I don't use a solution. I use D2, which is a biological organic cleaner uh, and then it runs back through your same system then you dump it once and then you run clean water so all that's pretty much clean now 
about once a week uh, we've been taking all the milk hoses which is the big thick hose here off and of course the claw here and just going and cleaning it up um, and just letting it kind of air dry out but you know this process for this machine is is easy it's a it's a pro not to have to worry about as much breaking down and cleaning like you would with a typical older machine that I've oh, seen. Let's go ahead and post it to her. Now, I want to show you one more thing before I post it. She is empty in every quarter, but this one. Um, well, yeah, see, she's got a little L. I, I like to milk her out. I don't want any milk still left in her. And it seems like this machine, a con to it is... It can pull, but say you have a cow that seems to be a little bit heavier in one side or the other. See how she's got this side's always going to have more uh, milk in it. So I'm going to kind of just make sure she's fully milked out. Uh, now, most people with machines don't do anything with hand milking. Uh, I do just to make sure everything's like it's supposed to be. Because I sure do not want uh, her to develop mastitis. So I'm going to milk this little bit out. She's almost done. So it's not a lot, but just enough to, to make me not uh, want to just leave it there. So, All right, we are finished. We're actually supposed to take it in. We'll process the milk out of the bucket first. Then we'll start actually cleaning up, uh, running the system. And basically, one thing with this closed system, you know, all this is just vacuum, so you won't worry about all those. But basically, you have one main line. Let's go into the bucket and also your claw. Um, that will be what milk went through. So what we will do is actually... Um, I'll show you the last little step of cleaning up, but it makes it really easy and then we'll, we'll finish up talking about the machine just a little bit. Alright guys, last step. Uh, you see now I've dumped all the milk. You see it's just still a dirty bucket with just old milk in it. Um, now, you, we will eventually take this bucket inside, but first to clean out the system. This is how um, it's taught by the company that you buy it from and also the other videos that you see on this machine. Uh, and on other machines, it's pretty much what they call a uh, all-in-one system where you have the motor pump, pulsator all together, but then you have the cleaning uh, apparatus basically built into the system. So, now, we've got, this is basically non-sudding soap. So, this is Castile soap. I use Castile soap or D2, which are both, they, I mean, they all, you know, when you put water in, it has some suds in it, but they're, they're non-sudding. Because you don't want suds sitting up into this, this uh tubing and causing you issues later so let's get it let's get it cleaned out so now unlike trying to build pressure you're going to automat automatically build pressure when you put it in that water so let's kick it back on you gotta plug it in first all right so let's kick it back on all right so no pressure you got to do two things you got to put your bucket back Got the top back on. It's not going to build up any pressure because all this is open. Make sure your gauge is turned. It's not losing pressure. Alright, you don't want all this just get saturated. So I keep this part of, of uh, the pump, there's little cords, basically they, they don't really need to get suds all in them because that's really done with the vacuum pump. Just shoot them right in the tank, so clean them on. I put it at very heavy pressure so that way that water is going all in that tubing. You see, this is a two gallon bucket. You see how fast it sucked it down. So basically, let's let's see here. This second tubing is all pressure, all vacuum, all air. So you don't really want suds or water getting in it whatsoever. Now I'm going to let this kind of just sit here for just a second. I'll let the machine just keep going 
I'm gonna go wash this out and get real uh with some good warm water. Alright, last step, we've got the fresh water. We're gonna go straight back to the same system. This is about a six and a half gallon bucket. So again, it's, it can easily hold the two gallons of uh, clean solution that we just put in it. And then again, uh, this, this next step. So I'm gonna just go and drop those in there um, and turn it on. All right. Doing the same thing, basically just with uh, warm water. You don't want extremely hot water because extremely hot water does not do good with stainless steel. But we are using very warm water. We're running it back to the same system, so you see it's just going to the bigger hose. That was the last step with cleaning the machine. So now what we'll do is just take the big bucket in, dump it out, and then just give it a good cleaning and I'll wipe down. So you see, it's, it's not a lot of steps to it um, at all that are hard. The one thing about this machine or any milking machine, the pro to it is, it takes absolutely no talent um, to run it, to handle it, to fool with it, whatever it may be. It is it is kind of easy, other than the fact that you're depending on this thing to work. So that's why I, I always go back to saying, I'm not recommending this, I'm just saying, if you go with this one, you need to make sure you understand how it works. Uh, and that's with any milk machine. Uh, these all-in-one systems are great but you, a smaller frame person, or if you're trying to do this for your wife, um, they're not gonna be able to pick this rig up. It's about 100 pounds. Um, you're gonna need some kind of dolly system or you know, using the back of your uh, you know, side by side or hook it to a four wheeler. My little cart, this little handle comes off and it's got a little ball in there and it can hook right to a four wheeler or, or side by side. I just choose to pull mine because it's just easy. So pros to this, all in one system, no hair, uh, no dirt, no worry about the cow uh, kicking something or slinging the tail and getting something in your milk and then you dumping it. So that is pros to it. Cons is it, uh, to it is you have to depend on it. Things break down. Things have to uh, be fixed. So you need to know how to hand milk just for safety because that's ultimately what you back up on. Uh, cons to it again is um, it does run on electricity. So you got to make sure you have electricity out there. Uh, Another thing is you got to make sure that everything's clean so it takes a little bit longer to, to clean up versus just your simple hand milking. Pros to hand milking, it, I just think it, it puts you a little bit closer to your cow. It's a little bit more sustainable so because you don't have to depend on anything but these. Um, but you know what? I've broke my finger before and that can cause a lot of issues when you try to hand milk. So you need a game plan on it. Something under your hands, you have another set of hands that can handle it, either your spouse, or your children, or a good friend. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Basically, uh, the pump is doing what it's supposed to do. But if you watch my first videos from about five or six uh, months ago, this machine was a was a piece of junk. And, and yeah, don't get me wrong, it still pretty much is. But we've just done a lot of stuff to it and kind of modified it. Uh, if you have any questions about modifying it, or you have any questions about this pump. Like I said, this is the one on Amazon. This is about the only one you're going to see on Amazon that Amazon uh, pushes. So if you have any questions about it, man, please feel free to ask me, comment. Uh, you can email me. You can, I mean, whatever is the best way to get in touch with me. Uh, if you have questions about anything deal with, with milking or Jersey, um, I'm not an expert, but I can sure try to help and answer those as much as you like. Uh, remember, homesteading is a big feat to undertake. Uh, milking is a major step in homesteading that I think is great for sustainability. However, I believe there's a lot of dedication and sacrifice you will uh, have to put forth when it comes to hand milking or to using this ultimately milking a cow. Hope you enjoyed the video. Happy homesteading. And uh, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our video uh, and to our channel. Uh, please go back and binge watch. We give you full permission to be lazy and to watch all our videos. So happy homesteading, y'all.